Hello and welcome back to the Truly Bedrock server. Now today I have got a heckin' load of stuff to do, like loads and loads and loads of stuff. But anyway, let's not spend too much time talking about it. Let's go and have a look at the things that I need to do. Right, one thing I need to do is I need to decorate this outside and get this all finished. Um, so it looks like an actual entrance and then I need to tidy all of this up. I need to move these mobs into the final situation down there. Ouch. I probably don't have any wings on. I should probably put some wings on. I just came over here just to show you guys. Jeez. Wings. I should definitely put some wings on now because I'm about to do something dangerous. Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. Right, so I need to tidy up all of my stuff down here. I need to get the creeper into here so that when you drop down you see the creeper and you go oh my lord and then you get rattled away in this direction um i really 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 need to get these guys i need to change the line of sight so that they see you better this one is kind of fine as he is yeah these guys can't hear you that's the sad thing you just hear them then up here I need to have a ghast. Oh, no, no, no. That's actually okay. So this guy stays where he is, and we're going to have a ghast right here. So I need to put in another little box there. Um, this, I need to switch out for something kind of like obsidian. And then coming around here, doing some switches, going up and up and up. I also need to switch out all of the rails so that things move more slowly. So that it's not as fast. That's going to be a little bit of a pain. But I can do it. I can do it. Um, in here, I need to get some slimes. And I need to make sure that the slimes cannot jump onto here to get the player. I just need slimes, like, bouncing around in here. I could maybe pop some really big ones in minecarts and just leave them there. That could be a thing. That could be a thing. And then up here, we'll, we'll get back out. We need to get out of here. So build up an entrance here. Then over here. We need to build a pumpkin. To compete in the pumpkin Olympics. Pumpkin carving Olympics. I have an idea. I hope it's not going to take long. It's going to need a bit of orange. But we need to do that. And then that's like everything that we need to do today. And if I get lots and lots of stuff done. It might get split out into two episodes. But I'm really hoping that it's one, and it needs to be out before Halloween. Let's go! Right, and we're back, and we're at a critical juncture right now, so... What I've done is, I've gone and cut away a decent chunk of stuff around here, so that I can move my ghast... ...that I happen to catch... ...and just push him onto the rails, okay? Now, if I can get him onto the rails... ...then he can make his way down here... Hit the activator rail at the end, pop through the portal and actually land exactly where I want him. I've gone and broken a heckin' load of um, of portals to make this happen, so I really, really hope it works. I've only got a few more moments of stuff left. Come on, move a little bit further forward, just a fraction. Right, beautiful. Off you go. Go on. In. Push, push, push. If this guy's if this guy dies, I'm in trouble. Come on, through the portal. Through the portal. Is the portal badly positioned? I mean maybe it is. Okay. I'm gonna move the portal. Oh no! No 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 no. No, that was not what was meant to happen. Okay. This is a very critical juncture. That's all I can say. And he's vanished. Um, I actually don't know whether that's good or bad or what, but... Let's go and see, real quick... Oh, 
No. Where did it go? Where did it go? Car despawned. Car suffocated, because when I left it wasn't suffocating. So what have you done? What have you done? Ah. Okay, well that's game over on that one. I need to put back all of the mess that I've made. And to be fair, I've made quite a lot of mess. I don't know who did this. This was not me. This was somebody else. So, anyway. Time for me to get my stuff organised. So sad. So sad. I just heard something rather odd. On this side of the portal. So I just came through to clean up all of my... There it is. Ah. <gasps> You're here. It's here somewhere. But where? It is without question here. This is the overworld, guys. Just in case you're in any doubt, this is the overworld. I mean, that's one of the places... I can hear you. I can hear you. Where are you? Right, we're gonna have to do some investigation and find out where this guy is, but before I do that, I need to put right all of the messes that I've made to make sure that he made it to the overworld. Um, which means fixing a few portals in the overworld, and then we'll find out where this guy is. Okay, back in a moment. Well, I wish I could say that finding the gas actually went well, but it actually just did not. It went terribly. Um, somehow, it glitched into the middle of a solid block. Like, just there, sat there happy, no problem, fine. Um, so yeah, I tried to cut away and get at it, try and get it into a minecart, and then I was going to start recording again, so I could show you where I'd found it, and this and the other. Uh, I got into the minecart and it started suffocating, so it's just like, okay, you just don't want to live. Um, so it's time to try and do something else for a little bit, because that was frustrating. I don't even have the sound effects anymore, that's really sad. Right, so after those frustrating few moments, maybe we should have a quick look at possible ways to slow the minecart down. Um, let's see, I'll just power this from this end as well, because apparently I didn't think this through properly. But anyway, as you can see, we've got three minecarts set up. One's going at full normal speed, one's going a wee bit slower, and then this one's crawling along. Now, basically there was a comment up in the um, YouTube video that I did last and it said, well, why not try using a clock um, to power and unpower the rails? Thought, perfect, let's give this a go. So first off I went with a really, really fast clock thinking, well, if it's more powered than unpowered, then it's going to go faster. But um, that's not true, apparently. So if you have a slightly slower clock, they go a little bit faster. Okay, but not a huge amount fast. So this is just a normal speed one. What we should do over here is we should set out an alternating pattern. Um, so one, let's do it every third, just for argument's sake. Right, and then we pop a minecart down on this one at this end, so it does the thing properly. And apparently I need to have the end one powered. So we'll just move that in by one. Done. Right. So the big question is, is there any difference in speed between the top two? And I feel like the answer is no. I feel like the top one is just as fast as the second one. The third one is probably the speed that I'd really like to be going. And the fourth one, uh, I'm not sure. Basically, what we need to do is we need to take a ride in each of these, just to see. Right, off we go. That feels kind of smooth, and as you can see, we're kind of keeping up with that one. That one's maybe a fraction faster, because it's just pulling away a bit quicker off the rebounds. Which is kind of interesting, but this one, once it's got up to speed, is absolutely fine. So, yeah, this one we don't want. So this one, I think, is just that little bit too fast altogether. Let's have a look at this one, see how this feels. Ooh. Am I in that one?
little bit jerky. Little bit jerky. And then we'll try the ultra slow one. This is smooth. This is smooth, but really, really slow. Um, hmm. But this might be my preferred method. The biggest problem is, if I do get the gas working, and it fires a fireball, there's a very, very real chance that you get hit in the face with a fireball. Which, although scary, I'm not sure it's exactly what I want. Okay, let's get a gas up in this thing. Okay, and we're back, and I can't even remember where we were, where we left this off. I've been doing so much stuff, it's been crazy. Lots and lots of stuff has been done. That's very interesting. I, I didn't realise I'd created a passive cactus farm. Now, you can hear this, these guys down below making a little bit of noise. You can hear them squeaking and meowing away. Um, so, we've basically finished the ride. We've got a little exit thing here, which I, I feel like I need to work on a little bit. Um, but I'll sort that. I need to buy some mini blocks and things, and I think I can make this look good. Um, and yeah, why don't we just take it for a ride? Let's just take it for a ride. So, you press your button down there. I need to put some instructions here somewhere that says exit only, press the button under the cactus, and then you jump in, and then off you go. Now, if you're facing forward... Ooh, hey, you know what? That was good. That was good. That is the first time I've actually seen that. I was a little bit worried that it might blow up in my face. Um, but it works. Look, we've got all the mobs in. We've got some very slow runs. Some of the runs were a little bit too fast. Um, but oh, I'm really struggling with that at the moment. The redstone's just not great. So I'm going to have a little play with it again. And try and get these areas to be a little bit slower. And just have some areas where you whip through really, really quickly. But the climbs are really, really nice and slow. But I just want the, um, the main areas to be a little bit slower than what they are. Now up here we should have a little bit of a surprise. Hopefully, I mean I've tried this a few times. Oh, no, 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 no. No, oh, thank goodness. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's just enough to give you a little bit of a scare. And then you get popped up. Caught on fire. Popped up again. And then ejected. And that's it, right over. So like I said, I think if I could slow down some of those runs, I think we're good. Now, the timing on the gas is amazing. The timing on the creeper is amazing. So I'm kind of happy. The biggest problem is when you sat in the minecart, you can kind of spin around and look anywhere. So I kind of feel like people aren't going to get to see everything once through. So they might need to take the ride two, three, maybe four times. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, next. Need to build something here that says come and play. And then I still need to build something over there that says pumpkin. I might end up doing the pumpkin thing in a separate episode, I don't know. There's a lot going on at the moment. So anyway, I'm going to get myself organised, come up with a design for this and start building it up. Okay, so I've been playing around in creative here and I've come up with this design right here. I really, really like it. So, all I need to do now is take this and put it into the real world. Let's go. And there we go, that is it, done. Very, very happy with this. Um, so basically, I did a quick stream. I'll say a quick stream. I did a stream. And we did all of this in the stream. We did all of the head. We finished off the inside of the mouth. Um, I did all of the redstone. It's all looking brilliant. We've got the exit signs up. I am really, 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 really happy with this. I can't even tell you how happy I am with this. It's, um, it's a very, very pleasing thing. I maybe need to find some new um, mini blocks different ones to make this a bit more immersive but um hopefully that's gonna do the job i think um if anybody tries to do anything silly they'll soon find out that they're gonna fall off an edge there so anyway i think that's looking good so next up is the pumpkin patch now i've been playing with a design which we're going to be putting up over there as well 
So we're getting a lot, a lot of building stuff done today. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to have a quick tidy up of all of this mess here because it's all done. And then I might even have a go at putting a path in. We'll see if I'm feeling that pro today. Anyway, first things first, tidy pumpkin path. Let's go. Right, so I've done my tidying up over there. I've even put a path in, so it's time to actually get started on this. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll just do another jump cut because today is all about the jump cuts and, you know, progress in between. I've got design organized. So yeah, let's go. And there we go. That is my pumpkin. This is a pumpkin from behind because you're not really meant to view it from that angle. The real point is you're meant to view it from over here, right? Right in the middle of Tiz's one. Look, it's got a little face, derpy little face right there. Um, I think that kind of works. I think it looks better if you can stand further back, but you know, once we pull down Tiz's monument in favour of mine, then you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see it properly. Right, I've managed to get lots of the things done today that I was intending to do, so I'm feeling quite good. We'll have a little sleep and then we're going to go and have a go on the ride one more time, just so you can see it in full swing now. Um, I made a little bit of an adjustment with the gas because... Um, Sometimes it'd actually fire at you and you'd get a fireball in the face. But anyway, I've done a little bit of path work. I'm not going to say this is the greatest path in the world, but, you know, maybe second or third. <laughs> second or third one that I've ever done is what I mean. Um, so, little path coming down. Got the big old head. It's looking nice. We'll jump on in for a ride. Final ride of the day. In we go. Let's see. Oh, he's always looking the wrong way at the moment. Is that creeper? I'm not getting the creeper noises. I'm liking the clicking noise. The clicking definitely works. Got a couple of skeletons around. I wish I could get them to just get that little bit closer. That's what I want. I want them to get a little bit closer. could come right up here and just sort of swing at you. Blaze. Skeletons. You can hear the ghast. The ghasts. I've done a little bit of adjustment with the timing here. And we'll see what happens. Oof. They look at you, don't they? And like I say, sometimes they even actually manage to shoot you in the face. So, <laughs> yeah. I'd love to get more mobs in here, lots and lots more mobs, but I feel like, um, I feel like that's all I've got time for, if I'm entirely honest. So, on that note, I should say, thank you very much for watching this episode, it has been packed, absolutely rammed with things and buildings and stuff, stuff which I'm not very good at. So I really, really hope that you enjoyed this episode, and of course, if you did, please do leave a like, and if you want to see some more, drop me a subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye!